Hey everybody. So today's Will It Run It video, I'm going to see if I can run this Wayne utility pump. It's a 1 6th horsepower submersible utility pump on this Jackery 500. I've got the Jackery 500 charged. It's showing 99% right now. This uh, utility pump is 1 6th of a horsepower and it says down here that it is 4.5 amp, 120 volts. 4.5 times 120 is 540 watts, so it's actually a little bit more than the Jackery 500 can put out. However, the Jackery puts out 110 volts, not 120. So 4.5 times 110 is actually only 495. So we are really, really close to that 500 mark. Um, depending on which metric we use, it might exceed it, it might not. That's what we're going to try out and figure out today. Why would you want to run a utility pump like this uh, on a Jackery? Well, I'll give you a couple reasons. One, uh, when I go camping, sometimes we like to stay off grid and we want to pump some water into our camper. And so I throw that into the creek and run a water hose into the camper and pump it. And so in order to test this thing, you don't normally want to run these things dry. So I, don't, I could just plug it in right now and see if it turns on. It probably will because it's not really doing anything. There's no resistance on there. This utility pump has a piece on the top that you can screw a water hose into. And to put these things under a load, really, you've got to have a lot of head lift. So uh, the length of the hose is going to matter. But then more importantly than the length of the hose, it's also going to be how high up the hose goes. So I know these, these pumps aren't really designed for a whole lot of head lift, like hundreds of feet. Um, I don't really know how much they are, but for every foot you go up with a water hose, you're going to reduce your output. Uh, so it, it's going to take more time and more power to pump the same amount of water. But anyway, let's let's give this thing a try. Normally what I do is I just run a generator. I, I just run extension cords from our generator. But uh, this is kind of quick and convenient, and uh, it, it won't make any noise. And plus, you know, you can run these things on solar. So I could charge this thing on solar, and then when we're ready for water, plug the pump in and pump the water upstream. So in order to test this thing, I've got a creek behind my house. I'm going to go throw this thing in the creek, uh, plug it in, and let's see what happens. There's the pump in the creek. Got it coming up to this uh, janky old uh, extension cord. And this half inch, this is actually a half inch diameter hose. There's 25 feet of it. I'm continuing to go uphill. Ugh. Climbing through all of these briars and poison ivy and spider webs up here. Okay, there we go. 75 feet of water hose, probably a little, maybe 80 feet worth of extension cord. So I have it going into a five gallon pickle bucket. And here goes, starting up. And there's a mosquito about to bite me. So it's picking up wattage. And there's our super little flow. Man. Well, it's running it, 275. My Jackery 300 may even be able to run it. Dang it, I should have put on some bug spray. I'm getting bit by mosquitoes back here. Man, that almost looks clean enough to drink out of. All right, let's see how long it takes to fill that bucket up. It's starting to look clear now. So the question is, is the reason why it's flowing so slowly because the Jackery's not powerful enough or is it because that water pump is not very powerful enough? Or is it because the diameter of this water hose is so small and there's so much resistance going through it? I'm thinking it's the, uh, it's not the Jackery's fault because the Jackery should be able to put out way more than 260 watts. And it, it, I think this thing peaks at a thousand and it's not even pulling 500, which is what it's rated continuous. It, uh, I don't know, maybe some of it could be this extension cord, how much uh, extension cord I have. So the next test I'm going to do is I'm going to go down lower to the water and plug it in so there's no extension cord and I'm only going through 25 feet of hose with very minimal head lift. And then we'll see 
if it's any different. All right, y'all, we're close to the top of this five gallon bucket. Uh, I'll have to go back and figure how long it took to run based on the runtime of this video. But we are at 260 watts. For grins, I'm gonna try the Jackery 300. Power on. Let's see what it tells me. 287, 265, so about the same as the 300, so, or as the 500. So they were both agreeing with how much power they were putting out. All right, I now have a serious amount of bug spray on. There's the pump. It's going through just 25 feet of hose into the five gallon bucket. And here's the Jackery. So now we're testing 25 feet of hose with uh, only a couple feet of uh, head lift. Let's see if the wattage is about the same. And then we'll check the flow. So yeah, it looks like it's about the same amount of watts. 270. With definitely a lot more flow. This is filling up a lot faster. Well, this is very nice. So uh, we know that that pump will run on a Jackery 300. That makes me really happy. I was wondering if I was gonna have to buy uh, a bigger Jackery since that pump was right on the line. And uh, I'm so glad to see that it runs it. Okay, this is probably how full it was um, when it was up, because it was at an angle when I was up. So that's about how long it took to pump five gallons of water. When calculating, the first thing we need to figure out is how much water we were able to pump in both scenarios. So scenario number one, we were pumping 75 feet of one half inch hose and there was head lift. The, we need the bucket size was five gallons and how long it took about five and a half minutes. If you divide the bucket size by how long it took, you will get how many gallons per minute. That was the flow rate of the first scenario. The second scenario was 25 feet of one half inch hose with minimal head lift. The bucket size was still five gallons and it took about two minutes to fill. Dividing those two numbers gives us two and a half gallon per minute fill rate. The next thing we need to check is how long the jackeries actually can run for. Based on what we saw, the pump used about 270 watts. We have our jackery 300 and our jackery 500. The 300 has 293 watt hours and the 500 has 518 watt hours. So to get the runtime, you divide the watt hours by the watts. So 293 divided by 270 is equal to 1.085. 518 divided by 270 equals 1.918. That number is in hours. So to convert that to minutes, you simply multiply it by 60. 65.11 and 115.11. So the last number we wanna see is how much water a Jackery 300 and a Jackery 500 can pump under both scenarios. Scenario number one, we take how many minutes it can run and we multiply it by the gallons per minute. 
We'll also take that same number and multiply it by the gallons per minute for scenario two and the number for the Jackery 500. So scenario number one, Jackery 300 would be 65.11 times 0.9 or 58.6 gallons. Scenario number one with the Jackery 500 is 115.11 times 0.9, which equals 103.6 gallons. Scenario number two, Jackery 300 and Jackery 500, 65.11 times 2.5, which would be 162.7 gallons. Jackery 500 is 115.11 times 2.5, which is about 287.7 gallons. So in conclusion, you can see there's a big difference between a small amount of head lift and a big amount of head lift. A lot of campers have 30 to 60 gallon tanks, and so it would take a, th a Jackery 300 the entire reserve capacity to fill your fresh water tank on your camper if you are pumping it from a creek up a pretty decent amount of hill climb. If you can get really, really close to the water, which I don't think you're going to be able to, but if you can, that same Jackery 300 will be able to pump way more water. Hopefully you liked this video and you learned something from it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.